<laughs> She's blinking again. Hey, I'm Matt. I want to show you how to measure for the hinge location. You will need this if you want to match your doors and use the same hinge that you have now. This is the information I'm going to need. So again, we're at the shop, remodel. I took a door off, we're gonna get there in a second. So basically, I'm going to need to know from the bottom of the door to the center of the hinge. I mean, there's all kinds of little centers all over, they can measure to the center of the screw, whatever. I'm gonna to need to know from the center of the hinge to the bottom of the door. And I did these at three inches, so I know that's three inches. And then I'm going to need it at the top as well, to the center of the hinge. And then I'm going to need what is called a tab measurement, T-A-B. And it's easier to show you what the tab measurement is on the door that I have down here. So again, we're going to go bottom of the door to the center of the hinge, top of the door to the center of the hinge. You get the idea there. I don't know, we're blue in the face on that. Now we have a tab measurement. Okay, your hinge attaches to the face frame right here. And what I need is the distance between this and the start of the hole. Not the start of the hinge, but there's enough play in these hinges that I can figure it out here. If you tell me an eighth of an inch, and that is an eighth of an inch, it's actually three millimeters. These things are measured in millimeters. I'll figure it out because generally it's three millimeter or five millimeter. If, but what, you can take the hinge out. I've already unscrewed this side and just kind of wiggle, if you have these hinges, wiggle that out and measure the distance between the edge of the door and the start of the hole. That's what I need. And that's that's about an eighth of an inch. Over here, we'll, we'll start it right there. So we got about an eighth of an inch and that equivalates to three millimeter. And why I need it that way is because that's how I drill for these. I, I don't find center and 11 sixteenths off of this edge and all this other stuff. I want that because over at my drill press when I drill for these I offset the bottom of that hole exactly to what you say your hinges are. There's a little room for error here. We have 330 seconds of an inch to move around which is plenty in this hinge with these screws here. One want to move it in and out and the other one will move it up and down we're fine but that's what I need I need center of the hinge and more often than not you'll have the same hole in yours so if you measure up to the, the center of the hole to the edge of the door bam you'll get well this one's three inches my standard is three and a half I did these a little off standard and I need that at the top and bottom of the door and then I will need the tab measurement which is the distance between the edge of the door and the start of the mortise. That's it. Don't make this hard. <laughs>